In this video, we're going to talk about the is pseudo class, which offers some new functionality in CSS. And basically what it allows you to do is mass changes to your website with very little code. You might only need one or two lines to make your change. And so that's what it's all about, right? In CSS, minimize your code. So you can see here, I've got a very basic flex layout for boxes here with uh, each box contains a heading one, a heading two, and a paragraph. So let's flip over. We'll just take a brief look at the code before we get going. So you can see here's the HTML, and you can see I've got four divs, which represent those boxes. There's a, a div for box one, box two, and so on. And let's flip over to the style sheet, and you can see here pretty basic CSS, right? We've got a box one, box two, box three, and box four. Now, what if we wanted to change the color of heading one, and we wanted to do it quickly? for each box, so we wanted to do it across the board. Each box, we wanted this heading one, the color of the text, to be yellow. Well, we could go into each box here, the CSS code for each box, and change the color, but that would kind of take some time. So why not use the is selector? So that's what we're gonna do. So we'll just go down here to the bottom of the page, and the first thing we're gonna do is put in a colon, and then you use the is keyword. There you go. Now the argument for this takes the selector, and in this case, it's a selector. We're not going to specify a class here. So in this case, we want to specify the div. And that, of course, is the parent. That's what we're going to put in here first. We're going to put the parent, which, of course, is the div. Now, the real power of the is pseudo class, this is really the big use case where it makes this thing really awesome. You can then specify a child selector. Now, remember, we wanted to change each one of these H1s. So that's what we're going to do. We're going to flip back to the CSS and we're gonna specify is again. And it's the same format, right? And of course, I forgot a colon, so let's put that in here, and there we go. And again, it's the same format. We're gonna put in the selector. And in this case, we're gonna specify the child element, which in this case, of course, is H1. It's that simple. And that's the real power of this. We can go ahead and change child elements on the fly really quickly. And again, we wanna change the color. That's what we said we would do. So then what we do is we just put in some normal CSS. And in this case, we of course need the bracket. And let's go ahead and we'll try to follow somewhat of a format here. And again, we're gonna change the color and we're gonna change it to yellow. And of course we need our semicolon. Okay, so let's go ahead and flip back to our web page. And there you can see, look, it was that simple. Look what we did across the board we changed our entire website. All the headings now are yellow. We didn't have to go change this manually in each div class. Look how fast that was. It's very simple and like I said, very powerful. And you can do this, like I said, with minimal code. Now, what if we wanted to change the paragraph? What if we wanted to change the color of that? Well, we just come here, let's put a comma, let's put a P, and let's flip back to the web page. And there, see how easy that was? With just a couple lines of code, we did all of this work. Now, I should point out, you could also put multiple parent selectors in here as well. Let's say we had a footer. We don't in this web page, but let's say we had a footer. Well, you would just put a comma, put footer, and you could change whatever elements you wanted to change in the footer. So that's how easy this is to use. I recommend you start using it because it's becoming pretty standard practice, and a lot of people are starting to use this on their web pages. Okay, as always, thanks for watching.